Excellence, number one from Image Comics, written by Brandon Thomas, art by Carrie Randolph and Emilio Lopez. So uh, this series is very trippy. It's in this world where there are apparently all these magical families and there's these strict rules and the stories about fathers and sons and their interactions with each other and uh, all sorts of magic craziness. So this book is set in a futuristic New York City where magic is real and there's these 10 powerful families and they control the use of uh, magic through various rituals and trials. And our main character is this guy, Spencer Raymond Dales, and he struggles with the pressure of being born into this powerful magical family and legacy and his struggles with his father's expectations. So when this book sort of goes on, we see this Spencer when he is born and he is expected to be this great magician or sorcerer and his father is expecting all these great things. But as Spencer continues to age, it looks like he's not living up to those expectations. And we see this one scene where his dad is talking to his mother about how his son's powers are not manifesting. And we see Spencer continue to age and I guess continuing to fail. Meanwhile, his dad appears to start cultivating and nurturing another student's abilities. Anyway, Spencer's powers eventually do appear to manifest, but at this point he's filled with rage and resentment from his father for not, you know, sort of encouraging him. Uh, and then we jump ahead a little bit further on. Now Spencer is getting older. He's talking to his grandma, who's named Gigi, and he's getting some advice from her. Spencer is supposed to partake in these magical trials, which are these dangerous and difficult trials, which he may not pass. And I guess if he passes, he's going to be accepted into whatever this magical society is or something. So his grandma Gigi gives him some advice, some pep talk, uh, tells him to sort of be more confident and it appears to work on him. So he shows up for his magical assessment and you know, it begins. Now it's not really explained too clearly exactly what this magical assessment is, what he has to accomplish, but I guess he has to help out this random guy named Grayson Winfield, who's like a 23 year old young dude and he wants to propose to his girlfriend but i guess he's scared and he has this fear and he wants he's might gonna chicken out unless spencer sort of magically assist him so i guess spencer's trial is to help this guy out and uh, all these other magicians have to like fight him and stop him for some reason why is this the trial I was, this is where i was a little bit confused like this is such a weird trial like he has to help this random guy out and these other magicians are going to attack him while he does it. Okay, I guess. So anyway, Spencer, he's doing this trial. He's like uh, magically running up this building or something. And he's like cloaking where he is. And then we see sort of a flashback back to when he's uh, talking to his grandma about using magic. And, you know, uh, his grandma's saying like, it's okay to use magic without a wand, which I guess apparently is a no-no in this world. They have to use wands. But the grandma's like... The wands are what they use to control y'all, stop you from going places they decide you ain't ready to, to, ready to go. But you know, you can totally use magic without a wand, and of course this comes into play uh, later. So it looks like Spencer is failing to help this guy Grayson propose to his girlfriend, and he's being attacked by all these other magicians and sorcerers. And uh, specifically, he's being attacked by this other guy, Aaron Mills, who is another, uh, who's that other student that the father was sort of encouraging earlier on in the issue. And whatever, they're beating the shit out of Spencer for some reason. And I guess his wand is sort of, uh, sort of rolled away from him and it's out of his reach, but he uses his magic without the wand. And he somehow puts this Grayson and his girlfriend into sort of this deadly situation where the girlfriend might fall to her death, but they manage to uh, save him. And then because the girlfriend and Grayson went through this near life death experience, they sort of come closer together. And then now this Grayson will never want to let this girl out of his sight again. So he does in fact, I guess, propose to her and they're going to be together forever or something. So Spencer has somehow succeeded on his mission. And now his dad appears to finally love him, I guess, because he succeeded on this mission. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Finishes the mission, him and his dad uh, make up, and then we find out that this Gigi, the grandma, is sick at the hospital and dying. 
So Spencer and his dad go together and they're at the hospital and Spencer wants to use magic to save her, but the dad is against this, says it's too dangerous and the other magical families will take everything away from them, their name, their legacy, if they do that. And then Spencer sort of storms out of the room and we don't really know what he's going to do next. There's also a letters column at the end of this issue sort of explaining what this book means to the author, how it's a very personal book to him, how there's some of his own life in this story and obviously stuff that you know does not mean part of you know his real life as well. And uh, I thought this book was very interesting, interesting art style, very interesting world. Although uh, I felt that the, you know, this book meant so much to the author, but as far as conveying that to us, the reader, it's a little bit hard to wrap your head around about what's going on and what the author is trying to tell us. So, you know, I was very confused in this issue. I didn't get all the rules. I didn't get what the deal with these trials were. Parts of it I thought didn't really work so well. So, you know, I didn't really love this issue. It might pick up in future issues, might get more interesting, but I'm going to give this opening debut issue a six and a half out of 10. Not the worst, not the best, but, you know, interesting stuff here. Curious to see where it goes from here, but I did not love it.